Okay, my name is Han Feng. I'm Vice President of Asia, of ABJ in charge of China. Talking about water industry here in China, I can remember it started back to 1980. In the very beginning, uh, China imported a breaker breeding stock in Guangdong province, then immediately they imported the grandparents. Since then, they produced a lot of parents and distributed among the other provinces. Uh, I can remember pretty well all of this kind of uh, boiler industry supported by the government, supported by the China Syrian oil for the purpose to act for chicken meat for Japan to gain the hot currencies. This is the beginning of the polar industry here in China. So look at the map here. In the past, Guangdong, can I move? Yes. Yeah. Here, they started the border, and bringing stuff from here, and you think it's all the way down to the north. And so far, I think uh, Abigen is exporting over 700,000 packages of grandparents into the China market, which is occupied 80% of market share. The only competitor of Abigen is BPPC, who has a COP 500. So they occupy probably about 20% market shares. And how do you see the market developing in the future? In future, I think uh, for the past 20 or 30 years, it really developed very, very quickly. For the future, I think uh, probably will slow down. And depending on the uh, Chinese custom for the meat supplies, because the people in China like pork rather than any kind of other meat resources. And chicken capacity capita probably is around about the uh, nine kilos. And uh, poor, something like 40 some kilos. And beef and lamb, 40 some kilos. So I think the uh, bull industry here develop needs some more government support mm -hmm. and also need the people in China or Chinese people to change the mentality. Then they have to realize the chicken or the meat, chicken, the boiler meat are much better than other kind of resources, which is very healthy for the human beings, not like uh, pork probably they will result in some other kind of uh, heart, or lungs, or blood, these kind of issues. So I believe that China should do something that to develop the modern industry. In the next two or three years, probably slow down. And after that, I hope that it will go another big leap into the uh, big development. Sooner or later, maybe in 10 or 20 years, the gold industry will be, and the polar meat consumption probably will be more and more than the, uh, the percentage right now here. And what volumes does China currently export? Export? Oh, it's hard to say. In the past, we export a lot of uh, fresh or frozen meat uh -huh. to Japan, but now only further processed, which is, uh, we call it, cooked product. I have to find out the figure, I can't remember pretty well. But not too much, just a few thousand metric tons. But do you think this is an area that will grow? I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't believe so. Because, uh, like uh, Japan or some uh, other Western countries have a more and more restrictions and also more chemical residue, this kind of thing. So I think the export won't grow over that right now. Well, yeah, sorry. That's great, Hampeng. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.